Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Naz with Hijabs and You with another tutorial. And I'm excited. It's it's beautiful color. It's beautiful styles that I have. I'm going to show you a few different styles. Um, yes, I'm really excited to share it with you. It's a, it's a rectangular shawl. It's a bit of a shorter shawl. It's not as long, but yes, you can work with it because as you can see, I have full coverage. I have it. It's hanging in the back. It's beautiful. And so we're going to put together a few different styles. Well, my dear viewers, if you're here for the first time, I welcome you. And if you've been with me from inception or you've joined me along the way, thank you. I hope that you're all going to enjoy today's video and you're going to share it with your families and friends. And even if you're not a hijabi or you don't wear a scarf and you have come upon my platform, you know what? If you find it appealing, please do share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. If you find my channel appealing to you, hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell icon and tick off the all so that you won't miss any of my uploads. Well, now let's get right into this beautiful tutorial. I'm going to show you a few different styles. Stay with me. Well, let's get right into this tutorial. Now that's the shawl. It's more like a silky shawl. It's silk and it's got some fancy blings on it. And we're going to put that together very quickly, very easy and absolutely stunning looking. So we're going to try and attempt to do three different styles. And let me adjust that for a tiny bit so you can see the whole thing. Now we're going to take a short side, very short side, because this is not your extremely long uh, scarf. It's one of these rectangular show, but it's not as long. So we're going to work with what we have. It's absolutely gorgeous show. So what we're going to do, I've got my ninja to cover. Make sure my neck is covered. And we're going to bring that to the very, almost to the end of the, of the ninja. Bring it down here. And just a tiny bit. Fold it in a tiny bit. And we're going to give it a safety pin right here. Now the short side, we're going to stick it in the blouse or whatever you're wearing. We're going to take the longer side, bring it over. This is today a very simple yet elegant looking tutorial. Here, when we bring this over, I'm going to pull this in the front and just give it a tuck here with one of these short ones, the stick bit. Just tucking it there to work with. And what I'm going to do is just bring that just a tiny bit. Give it a fold a tiny bit to give it some volume up here. I'm going to take that one stick pin out of there. Just because it's a silky shawl, I put the stick, in, stick pin in first just to get that um, to work with it. And now I'm going to put one there. You notice we've got a nice wrap. This is for all those young girls who don't like uh, the full coverage in the front. I mean, I recommend the full coverage and I do try to do most of my tutorials with full coverage, but this is just that look today. I'm going to show you a different option as well. And now uh, what I do is I, when I do this here, I use another stick pin, short one here, just to keep the fabric in place and one on top. So we've got our scars in place. We've got, it's looking like that in the back. It's looking like that in front. And we're gonna let it sit like that. Simple. See how beautiful that is? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, for you sisters that want the full coverage, for like me, what I would do now is I would take that, bring that over, and just give it a nice tuck here so we have some coverage in the front. And all I'm going to do is use a long stick pin and pin it really nicely in the back.
so my dear viewers we've got some sort of a coverage in front we've got this nice beautiful looking oh it's absolutely gorgeous look at that see instead of just leaving it sitting here which you can i like the first option we've brought it across so we have some sort of coverage in front and here we are we've got some the back and this is the front how is that absolutely beautiful isn't it well i hope you like that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get right into it and show you how we can have a different option just with the same scarf so we're going to take that um pin off of there okay we've got a stick pin there just make sure we get that out of there now this here my dear viewers, what we're going to do is take the shorter side out of the inside. I'm going to bring it in the front so that it has some sort of, it's looking like that. Bring that in front. And now you've got both. You've got it sitting, just fit your pleats in the front so it's, nice and it looks presentable now again if you want it covered you can do that or you can just let it sit like that and you've got that beautiful looking beautiful looking style just make sure you have coverage in the back my dear we can leave that sitting like that over the shoulder let it sit like that over the shoulder give it a nice look have the front make it nice it, it's all really nice it sits nicely see that and we've got the other side hanging in the front and it looks absolutely gorgeous you've got this sitting here you've got the back covered and there you go now what do you think of that we can use that as a style as well um, and again if you are not comfortable with it sitting like that and you want some coverage we can just pull it across I'm just showing you options pull this the longer side just pull it here give it a little bit of a stick pin here and we've got coverage again okay if you want it sitting in the front hanging like the young girls they they like it hanging here we just and some of us I mean mature sisters we like it as well sometimes you know it depends on the occasion depends on where you're going depends on how you're getting dressed up uh, it all depends on that so right now we can just leave it in front and let me show you what that looks like it's absolutely beautiful absolutely and all we did you know it's uh, just playing around with your shawl see just bring it over here and you've got some full coverage how about that that's beautiful isn't it now we can also just keep that in front again I'm just showing you all the options take this out of here now when we bring it over we take it over here give it a tuck here using the same thick pin give it a tuck up here and now you've got a really different look so pray my dear viewers we can stick the shorter side inside so and we've got that really nice look show you what that looks like make sure your plates are hanging properly and my dear viewers look at that how beautiful that is absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous gorgeous it's a beautiful shawl but you can use this style with any shawl it doesn't have to be this it doesn't have to be a fancy shawl it can be just a regular shawl just the, the style is quite simple very easy very simple try it please try it you will like it it's simple now i'm going to take that pin again off of there and show you all the different options it's easy it's like for everyday use it's not um i'm using a fancy scarf today but the styles are for every day okay and if you want to just hang it in the back really I'll show you what that looks like take some volume in here look at what I'm doing just pulling the shawl so I can get from the shorter side 
I'll give myself some volume. See that? And I'm going to let the longer side just hang in the back and I'm going to put a stick pin right here. Just right here. And we're going to use a longer one. And here, to keep our pleats in place, we can use two stick pins and use a sh you can use a shorter one. You just need to give it a little tuck here to keep things in place. And the same on the other side. And you'll see how nicely we have full coverage. See that? Absolutely beautiful. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. It's absolutely beautiful. And now we've got full coverage. And all I did was just let go of the scarf, pull the shorter side, bring it in the front, and give myself some coverage. See, I haven't moved the first, when we started with the safety pin here, I did not take that apart. I just let it go, let it sit in the back, pull the shorter side, pull it on the side, so we have coverage in the front. And there you go, absolutely beautiful. And if you want some, you know, if you want to have that little bit of a tuck over there, what we do is we use one of these pins with no head. It's one of these. It's a very tiny pin with no head. So you bring that up here and you just give it a tuck. So it keeps it nice like that. See that? Absolutely beautiful. And my dear viewers, we're done. Well, I gave you a few options. I hope you like what you saw. Please, my dear viewers, if you like what you saw, please share it with your friends and family. I, it is a bit of a longer video today because I wanted to show you the different options of wrapping your shawl. And this is absolutely gorgeous. We've got some full coverage happening. We, we had it without the full coverage. Just experiment with them and you are going to like them. Yes. Please do share it with your friends and family. Please, we, we need to work really hard for this blessing. And if we work hard for this blessing, Allah SWT will reward us. If a sister gets to wear her hijab, or she gets comfort wearing her hijab, or she gets the desire to put on a hijab, because you have shared it, and because I've provided it for you to share, we are both going to benefit from it. So please, my dear viewers, please, please do share it with your friends and family. And for you that you know you're not a hijabi and you've come across my channel, please, if you find it appealing and you find it something that you like, please share it with your friends that may benefit from it. I do thank each and every one of you for helping me to build my platform. It's being built beautifully. Thank you all. May Allah SWT reward each and every one of you for being here with me and staying with me and building with me. So thank you. Uh, now, we have COVID. It's, it's there. I'm telling you, it's it's a scary thought. I mean, if you must have faith in us, Alice Montala, you must do your bit to stay safe. I am doing my bit, but you never know when someone else didn't do their bit and one of us can get infected. So please, my dear viewers, do your bit. And if you've done your bit and something happens, you know it's the will of Alice Montala and we have to pray and pray really hard. Yesterday I was listening to a a video of a um, I looked at a video where I'm Alana who got infected with COVID and what he did say was when he was in the hospital the doctor who looked at him was a Muslim sister and she advised him that some of the other patients that were there that were Muslims and that were suffering from COVID and this can go for every one of you whether you're Muslim or not uh, he said the benefits of listening to Surah Rahman just, he said it brought so much peace to him. And within two days, Alhamdulillah, by the mercies of Allah SWT, he started feeling better. So please, my dear viewers, infuse that into your daily lives. Infuse the Quran into your daily lives. If you don't have the time to pick up the book and read it, every one of us have a cell phone. Every one of us have a TV. Every one of us have the access to computers. You know, Whether you do or not, 99.9% .9 of us have a cell phone. So please do let yourself listen to the holy book. It's important to listen to the Quran and it will bring sukun and peace and, and just peace to your life. 
So do that, please, my dear viewers. Try to, if you, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google, listen to the Quran. That's all it takes. So please, my dear viewers, do your bit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may, may, may he protect all of us from this horrible, horrible disease that's out there. I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you, protect me, and protect all our families from this horrible disease. Please, my dear viewers, I know I've made it really long, but you know, I have to do my bit. And this is my bit to you. So please, you do your bit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and guide us and protect us and keep us safe. Thank you for listening. This is Nas. Say, Assalamu alaikum.